And then thirdly, let's control the pace of the game. Let us dictate on what's going to happen offensively and defensively. And with those factors, maybe we can wrap this up and get one today. Here we go. It's going to be Weatherspoon jumping it up against Clifford. And A.B. traveling right to left in this opening half of play. It's up, tipped, and controlled by the Panthers. Lamb with a basketball. Shoot up and in as he used that shovel shot and got free for the first two of the game. One of the leading scorers in the conference and not wasting any time here, getting two points on the board for their school. Kentucky Wesleyan, known for their pressure, man-to-man defense. They're also a high-scoring offense, second in the GMAC in scoring. On the near side, Simone Smith cuts across, looking for a pass, doesn't get it. Deshara Jeffries takes the deep three on the far side, no good. Rebound down to the Panthers, they're in a hurry. Across midcourt on the near side, Grimes kicks it back out, open three ball, it's up, and it's good. Kaylee Duncan knocks it down. Yeah, nice shot by Duncan right there. They penetrated inside with Grimes, she kicked it back out, had a wide open Duncan, look for the shot. We said high above court, side to our right, the Battler bench, and to our left, the Kentucky Wesleyan bench. 5 nothing. a quick start for the visitor here. The Battlers looking for their first score of the contest as Galea operating between the circles. Looks for a high screen, gets it from Weatherspoon, pick and roll the dump down inside, a triple team, forcing a turnover, and here's a steal as Kentucky Wesley now slows it up as Lamb comes up with a theft. Kentucky Wesley is one of the leading scorers in the uh, conference here with a little over 10 steals a game. Inside Clifford, goes to her offhand, left hand off the glass, and good. Yeah, nice little two-person game right there. Is able to feed inside. Nice little block layup there. Of course, you've got a backdoor cut here, and the ball stolen away. It's a three-on-two. Pass near side. Now it goes to the far side. The shot is up, and good left-hand layup for Grimes. She gets the two. Timeout for the Battlers, and we'll keep it right here as a score 9 nothing. A quick start for Kentucky Wesleyan, who's coached by a actually co-coaches, which is a rarity. But it's a husband and wife combo, Caleb and Nicole Neiman, and they do a great job with this program. Yeah, I mean, it all starts with recruiting. I mean, if you look at their roster, a lot of the, a lot of the teams that, or a lot of the players that they're bringing in are from their home state. And obviously, when you got a talent pool like that, and you're able to put something together, and then you get the kids that believe into the system. I mean, I think both the husband and wife duo has done a great job. They're nationally ranked. And, um, you know, obviously looking at the points already, they've done a nice job recruiting A.B. being up 9 nothing with a minute and 40 seconds in this game. These two teams locked up once earlier at Kentucky Wesley. And, of course, the Battlers, a much different team. They've lost three major components from a team that could have competed for a GMAC championship. And, unfortunately for them, they've had to battle through the injuries and adversity. But give Coach Boggs a lot of credit. He has continued to work hard with his group. He's got a lot of talent, and he is saying goodbye to some seniors in this ball game. So senior day, a very special day, an emotional day, and hopefully for the Battlers, they've got that emotion out, and now they're ready to play some hardwood basketball, play their brand of basketball, which you're accustomed to doing. Let's see if they can get back to that. We get set to join live action. The Battlers in their home white jerseys and Kentucky Wesleyan in their visiting dark uniforms. We got full court man-to-man press already. Franklin bringing the ball to court, getting ready across the division line. Just about two minutes into this opening quarter play. Battlers on the attack, top of the key, Galea. Works near side Weatherspoon. She thinks about penetrating, instead works to Franklin. Skipper across the horn, Jeffries has it. Penetration into the paint area, draws a double. Skips near side, pass too high to handle for Smith, sailing out of bounds. Yeah, they got to get relaxed a little bit. Uh, as you notice with their man-to-man defense, they are really switching hard on that. So you might have one player only one second. Next pass, you're going to be rotation with another player, and they're doing a good job against A.B. on that. Battler switched to a 3-2 zone. Looking to try to slow down this offensive attack from Kentucky Wesleyan. For the basketball, it is Duncan. Now far side three, Clifford, no good. Rebound is taken down by Grimes. Yeah, we have to stop those uh, second chance uh, effort there with the uh, offensive boards there. On the block, near side, posting up. Lamb has it. Shot altered. It goes out of bounds. Last to touch it, Lamb. Well, we got some take some pause about that right there. They did a nice job on defense, and they're able to get the, little, get the hands on the ball right there, force the, uh, the out of bounds, and getting the ball back into Battler's hands. Coach Boggs to his bench for the first time in this contest, bringing in Madeline Moyer, 5'8", junior, checking in for the Battlers. 
She does a nice job getting out in the perimeter and getting open, and when she does, and she's got a good set, she can knock down some threes. Simone Smith, penetration, body contact, a block on a bang-bang play on the baseline. Let's see if they award two free throws to Smith. Two shots for Simone. Is that foul going to go against Kentucky Wesley? Yeah, Simone made a hard drive to the basket. Uh, fortunately, that the uh, Kentucky Wesleyan player was inside of the arc, and she was a secondary defender, which, again, is going to draw a, a blocking foul every time. Smith at the charity strike. She's got two free throws. On the season, she shoots 49% from the foul line. The first one's in and out. She's got one remaining. She has good form on her shot right there. It's just that was a, a, a tough break because the ball went in and out on her like that. So let's see if she can get this one in. Second one, nothing but nylon. And the battler's on the board. 9-1 our score. 3-2 zone with Jeffries in the middle, kind of extending out to apply some additional pressure. In the corner, Leah Richardson, who just checked in. They'll flip it back out front. Pass. Stolen away. Jeffries has it. It's a one-on-one opportunity. Euro step move. Shot is up and in. Nice, nice job of getting that, getting quick, anticipating that pass and getting down there and scoring for him. On the far side, a three-point attempt up off the mark. Rebound down to Moyer. Battle for the rebound. It's taken away. Grimes has it. She goes to the basket. Shot off the glass is good. Good second chance effort there by Grimes. A little bit of pressure applied here by Kentucky Wesley. Smith across the midcourt. She'll flip it out front to Franklin, and she'll start up the offense. Near side with it on the wing, Jeffries. High screen as Moyer tries to cut to the hoop. Her path alters, so they work back out front to Franklin. Three ball, three-quarters way in, and pops out. It stays with the battlers. Sails out of bounds, last to touch it on the play, Grimes. I think this pressure defense is actually going to play to the advantage of A.B. because they're able to slow down a little bit there. If you notice, they did have a nice setup offensively right there, and they got a good look from Franklin at the top for a three. It was a great shot, just didn't go up, didn't get in for it. Franklin with a move in the paint, shot no, backside rebound taken away. In transition, Richardson leads a fast break, off-balance shot, back iron no, battle for the carom, a tie-up, Richardson and Franklin. And the possession arrow goes to the battlers. And that's a good point, Doug, as the pressure we've seen from the Panthers so far, not the overbearing pressure that tries to reward a turnover. Instead, it makes the opposition work to get the ball across midcourt. The battlers being disciplined in their press break and doing a good job not turning the ball over. It's all about patience. They crack the pressure once again. Now it's Simone Smith in the paint area. Double team. Nice feed inside. Moyer with the left hand. No. Rebound on the baseline. Picked up by Weatherspoon who steps out of bounds. Tough break for Gina. Nice hustle on the play nonetheless. Yeah, absolutely. She did a good job of getting that, uh, getting the carom off the, off the board there, off the missed shot. And uh, unfortunately, she uh, caught a little bit of the toe the black line, so to speak, and uh, warranted the uh, ball going back to Kentucky. Kaylee Nolet checks in for the Panthers. Five foot eight sophomore. Battlers extending their pressure defense. Almost a turn over out front, and Jeffries almost comes up with a steal. Richardson with the basketball. Sweet pass inside. Shot up and in. And that's going to be Barga with a deuce. Anytime that you pressure a ball out the outside, as a defender underneath, you got to make sure you can pinch inside and try to pick up that, that player that's open. And that time, that's just what happened there. They weren't able to catch the open defender. Ten-point lead for Kentucky Wesley. And lob pass in, Weatherspoon. Left-hand shot, high arcing off the top of the glass and in. It's a great feed to Franklin, getting the ball, lobbing up high enough just so she could get to the ball, and she had an easy layup. Far side, catch release, three short. Would not fall for Nolet. Rebound down to the Panthers. On the far side, three ball up, short. On the baseline, a rebound again for Kentucky Wesley. Is there a crash to glass? Nolet with a pair of offensive caroms on this possession alone. Yeah, she's doing a nice job controlling the boards. Pass into Nolet. She is fouled by Smith as Richardson with a diagonal pass across the defense, finding Nolet in prime position. Coach Bog is to his bench. A pair of fresh players. Emerging in the lineup, Shea Harper, 5'7", junior, will check in for the Battlers. Also, Celeste Walters, a six-foot sophomore. 
Nolan's first, up and good. Nolan becomes the sixth Panther player to find the scoring column. 14-9 the advantage for the visitor with 4-12 left, opening Canto play. Nolan converts the second as well. Some more pressure and pulled by Kentucky Wesleyan. Nice job by Franklin beating the press, crossing midcourt, and the Battlers in their half-court set. Franklin takes the three, partially blocked. It's free on the baseline, picked up by Moyer. She goes to her left hand offhand, can't hit, but she's hacked, and she'll shoot two. Yeah, she did a nice job of keeping the play alive, getting the uh, getting the air and shot from Franklin there, and uh, went up hard with the left hand there and got body contact. Foul goes on Walton, her first, team second. And Moyer gets set to shoot. Moyer on the season, 70% from three-point land, and she is 36%, or actually 36% from three-point land and 70% from the foul line. Yeah, she has a she really has a nice shot, and I think that's why she's so successful out in the perimeter like that. She's able to get nice legs underneath it and and and, and the release is, is like I said, textbook for for her particular shot. Battles to within eight with three forty three left turning clock in his opening canto. Top of the key, Richardson. She'll reset. Far side, Nolan. Penetration move, pass on the far side. Catch release three off the side of the backboard. No good for Clifford. And the rebound down to the Battles. I'm loving this zone defense that they're doing right now. Quick three is up and good. Nothing but net for Shea Harper. Shea Harper giving that instant offense that she's normally done coming off the bench for us. Clifford up top. Goes to Lamb. Back to Clifford. Battler defense, tenacious thus far. They're doing a great job. Like I said, they're controlling their spots, making them try to beat them from the perimeter, and Kentucky Wesson just has not done very, very good job from outside. Set shot on the near side, an air ball, rebound down to Franklin. Has a good job boxing out on the play. His Barger could not convert, and there's going to be a foul in the backcourt. It's going to be called on land. That's going to be her Nine, first and team 14. foul three. Yeah, fouls right there in front of Coach B, about 70, 70 feet from the basket like that. Coaches always tell you, you know, you don't foul anybody in the backcourt like that because they're not going to score on you. But that's just one of those errands where she felt like she had enough reach and she can go in and slap the ball and just couldn't convert on it. 2-5-1 left in this opening quarter. It's a five-point lead for Kentucky Wesleyan. The Battlers with a round ball on the far side. Franklin in the wing. Out to Simone Smith. Open for three shots short. Celeste Walters had the rebound. Lost it out of bounds. Tough break for Celeste who had a point break layup. Yeah, and she had a great box out right there. She had she was wide open and like I said, she just couldn't kind of muff the pass a little or muff the rebound a little bit and just couldn't uh, couldn't handle it. 233 turning clock. Lamb with a round ball. Near side she'll flip it to Grimes. Grimes back to Lamb. This pressure defense, this zone has forced all kinds of problems. Open three on the near side, no good for Grimes. Rebound is tipped. It's loose on the floor and a tie-up. Prior to that, a timeout for Kentucky Wesley. We'll take one as well. You're watching AB Basketball on the great Midwest Digital Network. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion it takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. And here in Salem, 15-10 the advantage for Kentucky Wesleyan as the Battlers hanging tough here thus far. Yeah, they're doing a real nice job. I mean, they kind of got they kind of got jumped on real quick early on, but they went to that zone defense. They were quiet. They settled down a little bit on the offensive side. Inbounds past the wall to double team. Nice feed inside. Shot in and out. No good for Duncan. Rebound taken by the Battlers. You know, we've had a run of bad luck like that too, where the ball wasn't going into the basket. Hopefully, we can get get it the other way this time. Moyer has it. Out front to Franklin. Far side now, Shea Harper. Harper on the drive. Jump stop. Kicks back out to Smith. 
Nicole Smith for a travel. She got Walton out of position defensively, wanted to go to the hoop, but didn't put it down first. The travel gives the ball back to the Panthers. Yeah, I, I kind of wish that she would probably shot the three instead of making a penetration move. I mean, she had plenty of space between her and the defender. And to get set and get square, I bet maybe she just wasn't comfortable in that, in that arena, so she wanted to penetrate. On the near side, penetration for Duncan. Kicks back out Walton. Walton on the move to the hoop. Uses her left hand off the glass. It's good. And she is a strong player right there. Handles the ball real well. Got good size on her. We just hope she doesn't heat up. This Kentucky Wesleyan team is solid. Seven players scoring so far. Lamb with a steal. Coast to coast. Misses the bunny layup and the rebound of Franklin. Yeah, she's a little embarrassed on that one. Had the wide open look. Baseball pass down the floor. Smith's jumper from 12. No good. Ran the rebound down to Lamb. Lamb fouled at midcourt by Smith. A frustration foul for Simone. That's her second. Foul on number 10, Simone Smith. Her second. AB going to the bench with three players. Weatherspoon, Galea, and Jeffries coming back into the ball game. Coach B's talking to Franklin a little bit, just kind of coaching this, you know, whether with the ball, without the ball, always doing a good job on this. Always has a pulse on his team. Senses those players were a little bit gassed. Gets him a break here. Open three. Clifford, no. Backside rebound. Ripped down by Walters. Nice job by Walters right there. Good box out. Grabbed with both hands. Looked to the guard. Tried to set a pick right there. Doing a nice job all around the court. Jeffries with the basketball. Pull up at the elbow. Far side. Back iron. It's long on the rebound to Clifford. Out of the pass, here comes Grimes on the far side. Crossover dribble in the paint. A reach-in called on Jeffries. Mm, just, I don't know if contact drew that ball to being out of bounds or not, but nonetheless, she stopped. She got in a guarding position. She must have just reached with a hand that we, didn't, that we weren't able to see on that side. Emma Johnson checking in for the first time in this contest. 5'11", junior for the Panthers. Lamb taking a break for Kentucky. Grimes a trigger. Throws it in deep. It goes to Walton. Walton back out front to Grimes, and Grimes resets the offense. Eight-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. 2-3 zone. Utilized here by Coach Bogus, forcing the Kentucky Wesleyan turnover on the errant pass to the far side. It was intended for Duncan. Yeah, we're going to look at uh, 19 ticks left. We're going to take the shot clock off, maybe look to the last-second shot, try to get this to a uh, a five-point game after the end of one. Galea, the team captain, across the midcourt. Operates between the circles. Clock at eight and turn. Feet inside. Walters has it. Step back. Shot no. And the rebound is tipped twice. Taken by the Panthers. One second on the clock. Johnson's desperation heat short. And that does it for the first period of play. 17-10 in favor of Kentucky Wesleyan. You're watching AB Basketball on the Great Midwest Digital Network. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. And here at Salem, 17-10, the score after one period of play. Kentucky Wesleyan with the lead. The Battlers playing some very good basketball here early on. Yeah, doing a great job. I mean, they looked like they were a little bit shell-shocked for the first two minutes of the game, but they really settled down to run. This zone defense is doing a great job right now controlling Kentucky Wesleyan scoring. 
The Panthers with the round ball to start this second quarter play. Double team on the baseline, the ball free and a tie-up. Madeline Moyer, good hustle, getting after it along with Gina Weatherspoon. And for the Panthers, hustling after the basketball there, Jordan Barga. Yeah, they did a nice job of uh, doubling down um, on um, Wesley right there. And they both had hands on the ball and thus resulted in the jump ball. Galea running the point for the Battlers. Goes right side of Jaffa. She gets a screen from Celeste on the far side. Now it's Moyer for three. Count it. Great job by Jeffries who worked the ball around to the top of the key and caught her, uh, caught Moyer in the corner there for a basket. Pressure out front and a foul as Jeffries came up with the round ball. It's going to be a reach in. That'll be her second foul of the ball game. First foul this quarter. Hate to question anything, but I think that was a questionable call right there. Good hustle and active hands nonetheless. Yeah, she grabbed the ball. Coach Ball is not going to be too upset with that hustle. On the near side, a catch release three is up, and it is good. Nolet knocking down a trifecta. Yeah, she just got the defense was pinched a little bit inside the paint, and she just snuck outside on the corner was able to get the, get the catch and release. Moyer. Now to Jeffries. Top of the key, loading up a three short, and the rebound down to Walton. Wesleyan in transition. Near side, Richardson. Ball poked away from behind by Jeffries. Stolen away. Weatherspoon hands it off now to Galea. On the baseline, near side, Jeffries. Skipper to Moyer. Pump fake. Pull up Jay from the elbow. Around the rim and in. Nice job giving the pump fake. Set the Wesleyan player flying. She was able to step in and hit the 15-footer. Moyer leading the team offensively. Seven points for the game. Battler sticking in that zone. Dumped down inside. And a kick out to Walton, who loads up the deep three. No good. Off the mark, wide left, and a rebound to Weatherspoon. Five-point game, Doug, and as long as the Battlers can hang tough, they'll continue to build some confidence in what they can do against one of the team's best teams, a number 22-ranked Kentucky Westland squad. Yeah, they're doing, like I said, doing a great job controlling that pace of the play that we were talking about earlier. Like I said, it's all being set up by their defense. Weatherspoon, near side, back out front to Matt. Moyer on the drive, loses the basketball. Richardson with a theft across midcourt. It's a one-on-two. Dribbles in, left-hand layup, around the rim, out. Weatherspoon with a rebound. Here come the Battlers, all the way down the floor, though. Deep passes, stolen away. Three on two, the numbers for the Panthers. Hesitation move and a step through. The shot is up, and the shot is good as Norwood has all five points in this quarter for the Panthers. Yeah, she stepped back a little bit, froze the defense there for a second, and she was able to sliver in between and go up with the layup. Galea on the near side. Gets a screen, rolls off of it. She's going to work inside to Walters. Power moving the paint, drawing a foul. Celeste goes to the line. She's been working a lot hard. She's been working very hard here in this game so far. Just not getting uh, the scoring opportunities that she's wanted. She's rebounded. Then she slipped on the ball. She had a great rebound down here on the on the defensive end, and then they called her number, fed her in on a great pass, and she went up and drew the foul. Now we just got to knock these two down and crawl back in this. Barga hit with a foul, her first. Team one of this second quarter. Pair of free throws awaiting. First one is up and good for Walter. She's got one. In this quarter, a couple minutes into it, we're seeing the Battlers not only holding her own, but holding a lead, as a matter of fact, outscoring the opposition 6-5 to five in this canto. That's great to hear. Let's continue the, uh, the positive uh, momentum here on offense for us. Second one, no good for Walters. Rebound down to Kentucky Wesleyan. On the far side, Lamb goes in the corner. And a good job by Walters closing out. Battlers really moving their feet well here. Grimes, top of the arc. They swing it far side. Lamb on a move to the hoop. Ball poked away and a foul called on Gina Weatherspoon. Yeah, she, uh, Lamb made a nice move to the inside. And then she wanted to take it out away from the basket and shoot a little shot inside the paint. And then when that happened right there, Weatherspoon got her hands involved on the play. And I think she kind of caught her in the face. So... That'll be Gina's first. 
Team foul number one of this quarter. Inbounds pass to Lamb. She misses the shot. Weatherspoon with the rebound. Simone Smith just checked in. She's going to replace Walters. So Coach Bogus going more athletic and a little bit smaller at this juncture of the game. Pass into Witherspoon. Her spin move and the shot long and the rebound taken away by the Panthers. Here comes Lamb on the near side. Penetration whips it across the defense. Now it's back out front. With the basketball now, Grimes. He'll set up the offense. Works at far side of Duncan. Pass inside. Barda. Shots up. Shots good. Nice job of getting the uh, seal off the rim up there. They were, they've were they been kind of cold on the last few uh, possessions down there. It's a nice uh, up and in off the two-person game. Harper tries to feed it into Weatherspoon. It's stolen. Two on one down the floor. Here comes Clifford. Left-handed layup is good. Let's just relax a little bit, slow this down, get back to her sets, and then work hard on defensive end. This is a tribute to how explosive this Kentucky Wesleyan team is. All of a sudden reeling off a couple quick buckets, extending their lead out to the largest of the games thus far at 10 points, 26-16. Yeah, have you noticed a lot of turnovers here in the past couple of possessions for A.B. that's resulted in scoring for uh, Kentucky Wesleyan. Weatherspoon, step back Jay from 12, count it. She's got the second deuce of the game, four points so far. Catch release three on the near side, no good, but hustling after her miss and grabbing the rebound is Duncan. Far side Lamb, unguarded, three ball no, rebound long, sailing out of bounds by the battler bench. Walton re-emerging in the lineup for Kentucky Wesleyan. Also checking in the game, Emma Johnson. Timeout on the floor, and let's take one as well. You're watching AB Basketball on the great Midwest Digital Network. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student-athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. Salem, 4-5-1 left in the second quarter play. Coming out of a timeout, it's been an issue for the Battlers addressing the turnovers. In the last five minutes of play, turning over three times, giving some momentum to the Kentucky Wesleyan squad, and they've also taken those turnovers and translated them into fast break points. Yeah, I mean, they've already got six steals on the game. I mean, this is a team that averages almost ten steals a game while their defense is stifling, causing the opposition to have only roughly about 58 points a ball game, so... They are doing all things according to what their stat record shows. Far side three, no good for Johnson. The battle is on the move. Quick three on the near side wing, no good for Shea Harper. Rebound down to Kentucky Wesley. Here comes Nolan. Two on one, passing it off in the corner. Richardson loads up a three and knocks it down. Right, Kentucky starting to heat up a little bit here. Very similar to what they did in the very early parts of the first period. You know, like see, gets, let's get settled down right here. Let's get a good set. Let's get a good bucket for us. Galea out front to Harper. Harper crossover dribble, feeds it off Simone Smith. She's got it top of the key, far side now Franklin. She'll take the three ball and she'll knock the three ball down. Just what we needed right there. That was a good little set offense. They ate up a lot of clock. They were able to score. In the paint, Walton cannot convert. She gets the rebound of her own miss. We'll flip it back out front, and the Panthers reset the offense. She got away with the walk there as well. Richardson works it back out front. And this team has two Richardsons. We'll keep you updated on that as a penetration move and a shot off balance will roll around the rim and in for Johnson. As a matter of fact, you've got a couple Richardsons we talked about. Rachel Richardson, she's a freshman. And also 
one of the area, one of the GMAC's better guards, Leah Richardson. She's a redshirt sophomore. Checking back in the game, Madeline Moyer replacing Galea. We had a little miscommunication down there on the offensive end between Smith, between Smith and Franklin. I'm surprised we've yet to see Donaldson get in this game yet. Kentucky Wesley continuing to bring quality players in in Groves, and they've had several players contribute so far. Yeah, nine players with uh, nine players already in this. Scrum for the basketball. It's loose. Picked up by Kentucky Wesley. And diagonal pass inside. And the shot for Duncan is up and good. Yeah, the defense all penetrated to the ball. And they forgot about the one player on the backside. And that person was able to get the pass and get it to him for a score. Give and go inside to Weatherspoon. She'll be hit with the offensive foul. That'll be Gina's second foul. And the foul problems mounting up for the battlers. Why? You've got Witherspoon, Jeffries, and Smith all saddled with two fouls apiece. Yeah, and when you got a shallow bench that you have already, uh, you know, you're going to have to, as you can see, he's going to the bench already, probably going to give her a, br- a breather here on the next possession. So, yeah, we definitely have to watch out for those. We already got three in this quarter alone. Two more puts them in the bonus. 3-2 look defensively for the battlers. Penetration move. The shot rolls around the rim and in. As Nolan gets a shooter's roll, she's having a solid second quarter play, yeah, scoring seven points. Absolutely playing good basketball right now for, for Wesleyan. 14-point lead for the Panthers. Largest of the game, 2-2-3, two, two, turning clock, second period. On the far side of the wing, Moyer has it. High over her head, looks for a cutter, instead goes in the corner to Weatherspoon. Back out to Moyer, and now it's going to be Harper. Harper crossover, draws a double, skips it to Franklin. Shot clock at four, the batters have to hurry. Nice feed inside, Weatherspoon. Shot is up. Shot is good. Great job on the offensive side for A.B. that time. Found the right player, got the high percent shot. Far side, a three ball for Grimes. It's up, and it is good. Perimeter shooting getting hot out there right now for Wesleyan. Coach looked at it and said, let's give timeout. Let's talk about it. Timeout for Coach Bogus. We'll keep it right here. 38-23, the advantage for Kentucky Wesleyan. Checking back in for the Panthers. They're going to bring a couple players in. Barga will check in. Also Clifford. They just keep coming and coming. It's impressive the depth that this team has. And, and the thing is, there's no letdown from going from player one to player ten. No, and I'm, and you know, and it all starts with the recruiting process too. Letting them know what their role is going to be. You know, even though you might not be the starter of the team, well, guess what? You're still going to get valuable minutes. That's what we want. We want fresh legs in there all the time. That's why they've been so successful this year. They put up 81 points a game. Obviously, and then you look at the stat sheet individually. There's only two that are ranked in the top 25 in the conference. So that tells me you got balance on the on the bench. I mean, when you ha- when you look at a player who's not starting like a Walton, and she's averaging 13, 14 points a game, that shows some promise. You know, lets these guys know, hey, I can come to this school, and I know I'm gonna get some action on, you know, all four years of my conference here playing. If you want to be nationally ranked, you want to come to programs like this. They're number 22 currently. The battlers with the basketball, Simone Smith. The jab step, three balls short. Rebound track down the corner on the far side by Duncan. Here comes Clifford across midcourt. Skipper. And they'll set it back up front. And they're patient, and they don't take bad shots offensively. Bathers playing some solid basketball in this first half, but they find themselves down by 15. Moving the paint, shot no good. Walters with the rebound. Yeah, what you've seen here... Lately is that you're seeing not so many second chance efforts on the offensive boards for uh, for uh, for uh, Wesleyan. Sorry, Steele down the floor, a foul called as Grimes goes to the basket. She's got two free throws. Yeah, Moyer came up underneath. I uh, don't know if it's going. To... No, she got she got the steal right there. But before it happened, you got Walters in there getting her from behind. On the shelf with the back. Keely Lamb checking back in. Just under one minute left in this opening half of play. A pair of free throws await Lily Sky Grimes. First one's up. No good. She's got one remaining. Less than a minute in this game right here. And I tell you, this has been a fast-paced game already. Not a whole lot of action as far as uh, stoppage in play for foul shooting or whatever the case is. So. This first half is moving quickly. Grimes converts the second, one of two, and they apply some full-court pressure. Inbounds pass to Franklin. Franklin has it and wisely checks up before crossing midcourt. A double team was waiting on the other side. Mm-hmm. 
She'll walk it across. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Near side wing, Moyer. Triple threat position, works half front. Harper's got it. They're closing out quickly on Harper. She has one three, and she's known as a three-point specialist. They've done their homework on the battlers. Four on the clock, Simone Smith in the paint. Wrap around inside. Celeste Walters gets it off just before the buzzer. Great give and go inside. And that's that patient offense that we've had the last two possessions. We got four points out of it. And we've ate up a lot of clock there, keeping the ball out of their hands on their end on the offensive side. Panthers going for one. Grimes has it, top of the arc, works the land. Three on the clock, Clifford, high post, shot off the mark, Walters with the rebound, and that will do it for the first half of play. Some broadest. Again, like I said, I wanted to see them get back to that pace, their pace of play, make it patient, use a lot of that clock in their offensive sets, work really hard on that zone defense on the backside. If they can be patient, 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 I hate to say a word that so many times, but they could do that and they can force one and duns on the other end uh, with uh, with less scoring with Kentucky Wesley. And we got a chance uh, to narrow that margin or maybe look at uh, sneaking one way on this one. As we get set for second half action, they're going to do the senior festivities between quarters. And, of course, three special young ladies playing in their final home senior game. Deshar Jeffers, Simone Smith, and Danielle Franklin. Three very good players, great athletes, and great young women. And they're really playing as hard as they can. They're leaving it on the line here as they look for a win against this Kentucky Wesleyan squad. Let me get set for third quarter play. An issue with the clock. The officials will get things squared away, and we are ready for third period action. The Panthers with a basketball to start the second half. Out top, it's Grimes. Surveying the D. It's a 2-3 look from the Battlers on this possession. No look feed inside, and the shot is up, and good for Lamb. They did a nice adjustment at halftime talking about how we're going to work on this defense that A.B.'s putting on them, and they did a penetration. Once the uh, once the defenders commit to them, then they're going to have someone slashing their eighth on the back door cut for an easy basket. So, Jeffries to the hoop. Shot won't go. Rebound down to Clifford. Out the pass near side. Here comes Grimes in a hurry. Now it's Lamb, and they'll slow it down. Great transition defense. Yeah, able to get back and back, get back in time and stop a, an easy transition, uh, a possible three-point shot down at the end there. Near side corner, three ball is up and good for Clifford. Clifford, a five foot eleven junior, with a sweet shooting stroke from the perimeter. Yeah, she did a nice job getting set, getting free. Um, had a great look at it, and obviously knocked it down. Four nothing advantage here early on in this third quarter. It's Kentucky Wesleyan playing a little bit of a zone here for the first time. A three ball for Jeffries. Near side won't go. Backside rebound claimed by the Panthers. Grimes in a hurry. Penetration goes to Lamb. Catch release three. No. Backside rebound to Moyer. We're going to look at if they're going to go zone on like that. Well, they switch back into their main defense there. But if they were going to go zone, we really would probably take advantage of it with our perimeter shooting from the outside. Franklin with it, top of the arc, goes to Jeffries. They want to lob it inside to Weatherspoon, who's got position, but they can't get it in. Simone with a basketball. Nice move. Shots up, partially blocked out of bounds, staying with the Battlers. And Simone with a quick step, try to get it up and underneath, and a good defensive play that time for Kentucky Wesleyan. Yeah, that's kind of her patent move right there. If you ever notice a lot of her layups, she wants to bring him down from the hip and go up underneath because it puts it puts some separation with her body. Uh, as well as the reach as she does when she does that shot right there. But the Kentucky Wesleyan player is able to reach in there and tap, get a little tap on it before he's able to get up, hit the rim. Fortunately for us, it was ball out of bounds, giving the ball back to Elderson Broaddus. Trigger will be Moyer. Five seconds on the clock. The battlers have to hurry. In the Weatherspoon out front. Franklin's three blocked. Smith has a basketball. Her shot up around the rim and out. Battle for the carom. It's tipped, and Witherspoon's got it. What hustle on the play by Gina. Great job. They'll say she uh. steps out of bounds on the far side, and that's frustrating for Coach Bogus is Witherspoon really getting after the ball, outdueling a pair of Panthers, and then stepping out of bounds, unfortunately. Yeah, it was the uh, the battle of the, of the, the bold right there, and uh, she did a great job of fending off two players, but she just, uh, when she got the rebound, looking to kick out, get a new sell on the offense, and just, uh, like I said, just stepped on the black line. 
7.45, turning clock, third period. Grimes pass back out front, deflected, and a foul's going to be called on the play. Looks like it's the Kentucky Wesleyan player hit with the infraction. It's going to be Kaylee Duncan, her second foul, team one of this quarter. Yeah, even though there was there was no possession because the ball was loose at that point in time, she made a play to go through Jeffries. And when you make that call, when you do that, they're going to get you on a foul every time. Great hustle by Jeffries defensively. Here comes a double team. Franklin beats it, goes to Jeffries. Spot up three. Three quarters of the way in, pops out, and a foul called on Moyer, a reach in. She's been doing that all day on these rebounds, sneaking in there like we talked about in our conversation on the road about one of our former players that we know, you know, trying to reach underneath when that ball gets brought down, popping that hand under to try to draw it out. That time she got caught as there's momentum going into her, which drew the block. Looks like a change defensively, Doug. Going back to that 1-3-1 defense right there, kick the ball. Yep. First time we've seen the 1-3-1. They had the 3-2 to start out with, now the 2-3. And I like what Coach Boggs is doing. Continuing to look for different ways to catch Kentucky Wesleyan off guard. They just have to make sure that as you can well, look. Kentucky Wesleyan's on offensive. They got both players in corners right now. Look for that perimeter shooting from out there. They got to be quick enough to get to that. Now they also change back as soon as the ball comes back in. Yep. Two three zone employed by the Battlers out front. Grimes with it. Scoop shot up and in. A little too easy right there. They, she split the defense and. Had nothing but green wave there on the line going into the basket. No help side defense available on the play. And Grimes with an easy coast into the layup. Ball poked out of bounds by Lamb. Staying with the Battlers. Walton checking back at the game. Richardson in as well. And a third player, Barga, for the Panthers coming into the contest. 6.46 left in his third quarter. 46-25. The lead has grown for the Panthers. And it's just one of those, you know, scenarios where you're looking at it. It's kind of like, wow, this, you know, looks like it's a close ball game. And then all of a sudden you look up and, like you do, you do see the 21-point advantage right now. Backdoor cut. The pass tipped and taken away. Kentucky Wesleyan with a steal. Tashara Jeffries returns a favor with a theft of her own and a foul call to the backcourt on Kentucky Wesleyan. Big time hustle by our senior right there. She was able to get there, slap the ball, and when she tried to, to, to reverse and go the opposite direction, she got grabbed. Barga commits the infraction. Her second and team foul number one of the second half. Danielle Franklin operating between the circles. Give and go pass in to Weatherspoon. Power moving the paint. She'll get it up and in. Great job, Bart. Coach B was looking for the end one on that little bit of shove when she was going up for the layup. Out front, Weatherspoon with a deflection and a theft. Here she comes to the hoop. Left hand on the left side off the glass and good. Here's that punishing defense that we've talked about right here. Kentucky Wesleyan's Coach Neiman just telling them to slow down a little bit, relax, get back to your set, but AB's doing a great job. Love the effort we're seeing from Coach Bogus' team. On the far side, a dagger. The three ball from Barga is good. That's what that 1-3-1 one, one defense that they did jump back into. That's what uh, will get you right there. you got to really watch those corners. Got Shea Harper coming to the game. Coach B saying, hey, we need some instant offense out of the kiddo. She'll be on the next dead ball opportunity. Jeffers tries to lob it inside. Too high to handle. Sailing out of bounds. Maddie Moyer will take a break for the Battlers as Harper reemerges in the lineup. 529 stop clock. Fast moving contest here in Salem. Yes, Harper was, uh, I think she, she hit our, she had the one three pointer in the early on in the game. Uh, games early on in the season, though, she's been that instant offense for them. See if she can get something going here to help out or help the cause. Pass in the high post, a steal and a delayed whistle. Foul's going to be called on the Battlers. That's going to be Harper picking up the foul. Her first and team two of this third period. The reason for the delayed whistle right there is that, that the, the official did not call it his primary coverage area. That was over it was over on the other guy, but he did give him the first chance to look at it. Maybe he didn't see someone on the backside, so he had to reach across to get that foul. Inbounds pass tipped. Almost stolen. Jeffrey saves it in, but the Panthers have it. Grimes with a pull up from three. No good. A rebound and a putback up and in for Richardson. Yeah, second chance effort right there off the offensive on the offensive board right there. Pace of play has been frantic in this third quarter. Both teams getting up and down the floor. 
Near side, Jeffries looks for the screen from Weatherspoon. She gets it. Penetration in the paint. Jump stop at the foul line. Shot is up and nothing but net. I hope that breaks the ice for her. Gets her a little confidence because, like I said, I think early on she just really was not feeling it. Fortunately, a lot of shots up. Walton, no look pass. Inside of the lamb. She gets the hoop and the harm. Yeah, that was a good look right there. She had a streaky lamb going to the basket right there. A little backdoor pass and up and in, drawing the foul. Fouls on Danielle Franklin. That'll be her first, the team three of the quarter. The basket, good. We'll wait for the free throw after this break, and we'll take a break as well as you watch AB Basketball on the great Midwest Digital Network. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. In Salem, a 13-6 run to start this third period of play for Kentucky Wesleyan has helped them open up the 22-point lead. Battler's playing hard, but it just seems like Kentucky Wesleyan find the answer. They're so deep. They're just continually, aggressively attacking the basket. Yeah, they got kind of wrapped up into the uh, transition game of uh, Kentucky Wesleyan. Like I said, they're having their most successes when they're actually taking a lot of time off the clock, getting good sets, and, and slowing down the pace of the game. Nolet checks in the game, replacing Lamb, who just finished off the old-fashioned three-point play. Yeah, Nolet's been, uh, been a thorn in our side for sure. Pressure for the Panthers. Franklin's got it, found from behind as she crosses midcourt. It's going to be called on Barga. That'll be her third foul. First player for either team to be hit with three infractions. Looking at bounce scoring attack already for um, Kentucky Wesleyan with Duncan with eight uh, and uh, Barga with nine and then a slew with three with Grimes, Nola, and Kylie Clifford. Galea checking back in. She's got the ball in the wing, far side. Penetration and the kickoff. Now it's Franklin with it. Guarded by Johnson. Franklin works her way back up top, tries a rifle a pass into Walters. Too high to handle. Yeah, just could, just a little bit out of the reach of her right there. Uh, I know she's on the bench right now, but Witherspoon is leading all scorers with double digits at 10 points so far in this contest. Battles in a 3-2 zone. Four minutes left, third period. Richardson on the far side, holds it high overhead, works it near side. Now it's a skipper, far side corner, three ball up, and no good for Duncan. The backside rebound taken by the Battlers. They've been working on that uh, corner shooting there for the perimeter for Wesley, and that's how they're able to stretch out this lead to 23. Nice feed inside from Smith going to Walters. A collision, players hit the deck, and the the official's going to say it goes off of Walters and Broadus. Yeah, Walters uh, kind of got knocked on her backside right there, so she was already a player that's not officially on the court, and any time the ball would touch her, the ball's going to be given to the opposition anyway. Duncan back out to Richardson. Near side, she'll bring it to Noloff. Skipper far side, catch release three. Duncan, no good, rebound long, taken by Harper. It's a breakout, a three-on-one. Harper, no-look pass. Franklin on the near side. Drops to the rim. Shot is up, and the shot is good. Nice job. They had a three-on-two right there. Able to spread the defense out and get the uh, get the easy transition bu- bucket. Kentucky Wesleyan trying to counter, but a steal by Simone Smith. She's known as a defensive 
genius, as a matter of fact, ranking high in the GMAC in thefts this season. Yeah, she's done a nice job so far this year and doing a nice job in this game right now. Top of the key, Shea Harper with it. She'll retreat, reset. Now it's Belay on near side, spinning the paint, no look pass in. Simone Smith with a power move in the paint, goes to the offhand, the left hand, and puts it up off the glass and good. Great job. Unfortunately, Walton on the other end, uh, left wide open. They had a little quick two pass to her. She had the, the old cherry pick layup, as we say back in the day. Those secondary fast breaks, you know, when you get off of a made basket, something that Kentucky Wesleyan does extremely well. Steele Johnson's got it now across midcourt between the circles. Shovels it off on the far side and pull out your visa. That's going to be a charge. Simone Smith stands tough inside and draws the charge. It's going to be on Johnson. That's some of that defensive set that you were talking about right there. Great job by Simone as she's going to get a break. Four points in this quarter. She and Weatherspoon leading the charge offensively and literally taking the charge on that last play. Yeah. Johnson did not like the call. She's shaking her head right now. Feeling like... Uh, Probably wasn't the right call, but Simone did a great job getting squared up. Legal guard in position, drawing the foul. Two to go in his third quarter play. 56-35, Kentucky Wesleyan. Galea up another move in the paint, utilizing the glass and knocking it in. She's doing a great, great job of using her body to separate herself between that and the defender. That's her first deuce of the game. Top of the key, three. Clifford can't hit it, but Lamb gets the offensive rebound. Lamb's doing a, guy, doing a great job on both ends of the uh, the court, getting rebounds, helping out the scoring, picking up some assists, as well as picking up two steals early on in the game. Grimes rides to the rim. She's fouled in the act. She'll shoot a pair of free throws. Foul's going to be on Walters. Celeste picks up her second foul. Team number four of this quarter. Four fouls for both teams, so the bonus could be employed for the remaining 129. Yeah, and like we talked about, you're stopping the clock, you're putting some points on. Free throw up and good. Witherspoon looked a little anxious when that when that whistle was blown. She kind of thought the foul may have been on her, but the referee saw something on the backside with Walters. Grimes, one remaining. It's up and good. Nine, nine points in the game for Grimes. I like this offensive setup that they have going on right now, too, because you got both big girls inside. Now you can work angles either way and then try to get back to her and pass to them. Moyer in the corner on the near side. She'll dribble it back out front. Works to Galea. She penetrates in, draws a double team. Skips back out to Moyer. Over to Shea. Now it's Weatherspoon. Step back jumper short. Rebound is tipped and a foul is called on Moyer. Moyer with good hustle going after loose ball but got caught. Committing the reach in foul. Yeah, she's had a tough time today. I mean, you can't take away her hustle. The hustle has been amazing. However, they're kind of, when they're, she's drawing the context like that, when she's trying to get to those offensive boards, thus displacing the opposition. And like I said, picking up, I think that's foul three? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, free throws coming for the Panthers at the foul line to our left. It'll be a pair of shots for Lily Sky Grimes. Okay. On a game three or four from the charity stripe. Saying we had Witherspoon there to help they were going to stop playing us and she was lacing up the sneaks there. Free throw up and good. Kentucky Wesleyan on top by 22 with one minute, one second remaining in this third period of play. Seems like the third period has always been against the battlers here in the last few games that we've done on the, uh, on the internet here. But they have played strong in the, in the fourth quarter. They've been matching up good. Grimes converts both. Galea, right in front of the batter bench. She'll work at far side now to Moyer. Moyer to Harper. Harper fouled by Grimes. Free throws coming for the Battlers. That'll be Grimes' first foul, and that should be five, so we should have two free throws here for Shea Harper. Both teams in the bonus in the closing minute of the game or of the third quarter. Harper shooting 85% from the foul line this season. Substitution for the Panthers as Nolot checking back in. She 
Shea's free throw around the rim and out. She's got three points in the game on a trifecta coming in the opening period of play. Baby recognizes that they got Wesleyan, got their players in the corners back here on the offensive side, so they thought they better get back and get, get in position, get ready to defend. Second free throw, good. Here comes Grimes. No look, feed inside. Emma Johnson puts it up and in. 30 seconds left as Galea directing traffic. It's a 1-4 look offensively. She feeds it off on the wing. Now Harper's three is short. Rebound tip and a foul called on the Panthers. That'll put Shea Harper back on the foul line. That foul's going to be called on Grimes. Back-to-back fouls on Lily Scott. And actually, that'll be Galea at the charity strike. Galea again in, working hard to get in on that offensive rebound, and Grimes grabbed her from behind and um, pulled her down. And Chance now for the Battlers to score points with the clock stopped, trying to find a way to claw back in this game. The first one up and good for Galea. We just got to take all the pauses of what came out of that quarter. Hopefully, Coach can use that as a feeding sort, as a feeding for them for the fourth quarter. Help them carry it, carry that momentum into it. Galea converts both. Extended 1-3-1. Weatherspoon out front. Shot clock off. Ten seconds on the game clock. Out front, Nolan. Skipper near side, Clifford. Loads up a three and hits it. That'll do it for the third play to play. 65-40, Kentucky Wesleyan leads. You're watching AB Basketball on the great Midwest Digital Network. In Salem getting set for the fourth and final period of play, 65-40 in favor of Kentucky Wesleyan, but this score does not indicate the effort that this Lady Battler team has put into this contest. Yeah, they've been playing very hard, very aggressive on the defense. They've been doing a lot of different sets on the defense, which I think has been kind of tricking Wesleyan a little bit. Uh, you got to give Wesleyan credit. They shot 64% in the third quarter. So when you got a hot hand like that, it's going to be tough to beat anybody. Long pass inside. Moyer with a sweet feed goes to Weatherspoon. A foul called on the Panthers. Again, bat, when you have that arc in there on the defense side and she's the secondary defender, it's going to be a block. Foul's going to go on Keeley Lamb. And looks like a little issue here as Coach Neiman, a little bit too close to midcourt, the official saying back off. We get set for action as Moyer will trigger it in. She goes into Walters and a foul called on the floor immediately. The Battlers being aggressive here, as a matter of fact, drawing a pair of fouls just three away from the bonus. Yeah, and <laughs> with over nine, with nine and a half minutes going in the game like that, that could be a factor later down the road. Varga in extreme foul difficulties. She got four for the day. Witherspoon triggers, tosses deep, it's Moyer. Now near side, Galea. Swings it back to Witherspoon. She's looking inside. The Battlers looking to go in when they can. Galea, 
open for a deep three, and she'll knock it down. That was NBA three right there. She's got seven in the game, and the Battlers on a nice run here early on in this fourth quarter. Clifford looks to answer. Her attempt no good. Rebound and a putback attempt won't go, but a foul is called on the Battlers. Yeah, Moore picked up number four right there. They'll change it to her third foul. Sorry. That's not your fault, Doug, as they made an official change between quarters. And we'll see Simone Smith checking back into the contest. Fellow senior Tashara Jeffries and the third senior, Danielle Franklin. All three checking back in with 9.15 left. Shea Harper gets a break. So does Galea. Well, if you notice, too, the way that the offense was running when, when both the, when Galea and Harper's in the game, more penetrating, uh, finding someone underneath the basket if the wide-open shot wasn't there. Now they're probably going to reverse and go to more of a uh, perimeter game, look for a lot of uh, ball passing out around, out around beyond the arc and probably some more three-point shots being taken. Barga connects on one of two. Lead 23 as Franklin. Looks for the high screen. She'll get it. Rolls off of it. Comes near side. Now it's Jeffries. Out to Moyer. Pass deflected. As it looked like Weatherspoon had sat down inside. Had prime position in the paint. But they couldn't get the ball to her. Barga. Down low. They flip it back out front. A catch release three for Richardson. No good. And the rebound is taken by Franklin. Crosses over. Picks up her dribble. And they're going to call a travel on the battlers. Shea Harper checks right back into the game with 8.42 left, stop clock. She lost the ball, ball got a little bit high on her. Instead of doing the palm, she went ahead and tried to grab it. Unfortunately, had a little shuffle on her feet right there, and the ref picked it up. Don't forget, between the games, we'll have senior recognitions for both, both the men's team and the women's team. On the backside, a theft taken by Jeffries across midcourt in a hurry. She'll lollipop it down the floor. It's going to go to Franklin. Skipper near side. Simone's got it. Puts it on the deck, drives to the hoop. Body contact, no whistle. The ball free. Here comes Lamb. She'll retreat and a foul called on reach in. Simone right in front of the Kentucky Wesleyan bench. It's one of those calls when I do a game, you know, it's one of those, hey, it's a, a foul on 10 on a push. She didn't mean to do it, but that's just kind of what happens. When you got Lamb stopping the way she did, you know, and, and Simone would had her uh, momentum going right there. It's just, you know, it's just a foul. And the officials will collect the ball from the Panther bench. They'll get set to bring it in. Noloff tosses in the backcourt. Richardson back to Noloff. Ball stolen away. Here comes Weatherspoon. Dribbles in. Jump stop. Ball deflected and taken away. Richardson with it. Down the floor. One touch pass to Lamb. Lamb steps over. Loses the ball. Shot won't go. Gets the rebound and puts it up and in. Just one of those bang bang plays. You got the Weatherspoon quick hands on that. She got underneath there, but then Noloff made a great. Uh, a recovery effort on that, and then uh, they were able, Weston was able to take advantage of it. Pace picking up here in the fourth quarter play. 7.40, turning clock. Cut inside. Barga has it. Fouled on the floor. It's a reach in on the battlers. Going to have a spot foul here called on Franklin. Team number four. left. Trigger will be Richardson under the A.B. basket. My apologies, team three on that. They were able to get it quick. (laughs) Three ball for Clifford. No good. Weatherspoon with the rebound. Down to Franklin. She goes to the hoop. Left-hand layup won't fall. Nice move. Tough break for Smith. And the rebound down to Kentucky Wesleyan. Richardson spotting up for the three. She'll retreat and reset. Jeffries applying the heat. Cross-court pass goes to Lamb between the legs dribble. Lamb with a skipper back near side to Richardson. 11 seconds on the shot clock. She calls for a screen, gets it. Pull up Jay at the foul line. Off the mark, no good. Battle for the rebound. Franklin with a nice box out. Now the ball's free. Tie up on the floor. Franklin and Richardson. The possession arrow gives it to the Panthers. 
AD going into a man defense now, and I think it's probably just to slow down the perimeter play of what's been, or not the perimeter, the transition play of what Wesleyan's been doing these last four or five possessions. Lamb will bring it in on the far side sideline. Tosses in the back court. It's going to be Grimes. Back to Lamb on the far side. Badler's looking for a double team. She'll toss over top of it. Now it's in the corner. Nolot, skipper out front. Lamb's shot partially blocked. A foul called, and she'll bank it in from the top of the key, and that's just the kind of day it has been for the Battlers. Yeah, Jeffries worked so hard to get out there to the top like that and just was a second short on the release. One extra step, she probably would have had a block and had a wide-open layup down at the other end. Lamb's got a chance for a rare four-point play, and speaking of four-point plays, that's what the Battlers used the men's team did to propel them to the win on the road against Kentucky Wesleyan as Shriver hit a four-point play with 30 seconds remaining. Lamb, well, she makes the free throw, completes the four-point play, and the Battlers with the basketball. Not often seen at the, at any level of basketball seeing a four-point play, but anytime they're able to pull that off, that's a huge advantage for the, uh, for the team that does it. So. Harper tries to dump it inside the ball, deflected, goes out of bounds, and it stays with the Battlers as Moyer will check right back in the game, along with Walters. They'll replace Smith and Weatherspoon. Yeah, I think Coach B's going to have to realize we're going to have to, to shoot some threes to crawl back into this game. So he's got all his perimeter players out there now. Out front, Danielle Franklin. She crosses over, then spins. Hit. Fouled, and she'll shoot two free throws. Nice aggressive move in the paint by Danielle. Yeah, it made the move, spin move into the basket. They had three defenders right there, and she was able to draw the foul. Franklin with a pair of free throws. First one's up and good. On the season, Franklin, 94% from the charity stripe. Now 17 of 18. Second one up around the rim and in. Shooters roll for Danielle. Coach Boggs with a timeout. We'll take one as well. AB basketball in the great Midwest Digital Network. In Salem, 6.23 left in regulation. The ball belongs to Kentucky Wesleyan. The Battlers, a change in defense. We'll see some full court mano a mano. They'll pressure and try to look to trap in the high trapping areas. Yeah, they need to force some turnovers and turnovers quick and then take advantage of those. Get us crawling back into this game. The Panthers with it out front. Nolot, skipper, far side. Penetration in the paint, double team. Grimes had it. Now she's back in the corner with a round ball. Barger lays a screen on. Skipper, far side, Lamb. Catch, release, three is good. When you have an advantage like this, you can really work the ball around, eat a lot of clock that they did on the offensive side there, and that's just what they did. They shot the three with less than three seconds ago in the, in the, uh, on the shot clock. Pass into Walters. It's poked out of bounds off of her, so it goes back to Kentucky Wesleyan. Pressure you- defense in the backcourt for A.B., Looking to heat it up. It goes to Lamb. Lamb avoids the double team. Walton 
Pass now in the paint. Loose, picked up. And now it's Lamb out front. And the thing about this team, very unselfish. Everybody shoots the ball well, and they look for the open player. That's why they score so many points, and that's why they're number 22 in all the land. Yeah. Very well coached and a very good team. Far side three is up and good. Nola converts the trifecta in double figure. She has 10. They're wearing out the wax down on the corners here on the outside the perimeter. They've been shooting so many threes from there today. Simone Smith getting set to check back in. Maddie Moore with a penetration move into the paint area. Draws a double, loops it inside. It's tipped and taken away. Here comes Grimes in a hurry, two on two. Stutter step dribble, shovel pass is going to be stolen by Harper. Didn't have the angles that you normally look for when you're in a two on two defense. She was too tight. Harper step back jumper, foul called as Lamb hit with the infraction, does a reverse backflip, or what do you call that? Temple temple? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not much of a gymnastics guy, but it was impressive nonetheless. I think she did a little monkey roll to get that get back on her feet there. We see some fresh legs in for uh, Kentucky Wesleyan right now. 4-4-0 left on the clock. Both teams with substitutions. Simone set the trigger in. A timeout called on the floor. You're watching AB Hoops on the great Midwest Digital Network. And in Salem, it'll be Shea Harper at the foul line. Four fouls on both teams, one-on-one -on -one bonus, or excuse me, the two-shot bonus employed for the remainder of this game as Harper will roll one around the rim and in. She's got five points in the contest. And back to Kaylee Lamb, she's heating up in this fourth quarter. Yeah, she uh, had nine in the quarter so far, and she's leading all scores with 16 in the game. Harper connects on both, and here comes Simone Smith. Battler's going with a 2-2-1 pressure defense. Boyle with the basketball inside. She'll skip it back out front. They'll reset the offense. That'll be DeCoria Puckett, who just checked in, with the basketball. Skipper near side, catch release, Jay is up. Back iron, no good. Franklin with a rebound. Nice job getting the long rebound right there. And when you got your point guard, you can set it up. When your point guard gets a rebound like that, then it can make the transition game so much easier. And she was able to go coast to coast right there and draw the foul. Riding to the rim is Franklin drawing the foul. She's got two free throws. And that'll be Puckett picking up the infraction. For the first time in the contest, we'll see Tony Donaldson, the five foot seven freshman for the Battler. She checks in. Also, Jeffries will be in the game as well. Jeffries will be going in the game for the shooter for Franklin here. Franklin's first, up and good. Three of three from the foul line in this quarter alone. A total of six points in the game for Franklin. The second one is good. Jeffries in and Franklin out. Now we'll see a little 1 2 2. Full court pressure. The Battlers looking to double team and get some steals. Pass the Barga. She'll flip it across far side Richardson. She'll skip it near side to Boyle. Boyle out front to Puckett and they reset the offense. Puckett penetration. Kicks off. Shot is rejected out of bounds by Weatherspoon. 
Is that Weatherspoon? Is that Zion Williams right there? Well, she slapped that onto the bleachers, didn't she? Unbelievable block shot there by Weatherspoon. Great athletic ability right there. Good for her. With him and his Montez out, she's the team's leading shot blocker. Richardson, penetration, four on the clock. Puck it now. Up and under move in the paint, around the rim and out. Rebound down to Kentucky Wesleyan, and the putback is good for Barga. Yeah, nice box out on there for Wesleyan. They able to get the second chance effort, and they're up at the end. Three points away from their uh, for their season average. 3.25 on the clock. Galea tries to loop it inside, taken by Barga. She was expecting Witherspoon to be facing her, and then she ended up, uh, Barga got cut right in front of it and was able to pick off the pass. Boyle with a round ball. Now it's Puckett. Clock at 10, skipper near side, Barga back out front. Foul on a reach in on Donaldson. That's a frustrating foul as the shot clock down to six. The Mavericks playing great defense, and that foul bails out Kentucky Wesleyan, sending them to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Yeah, I was going to say to add field to fire, that was team foul, team five on that, so now they're still going to get opportunity to score down on this end. Boyle looking to find the scoring column. First one's up, and nothing but nylon. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the men's game between these two teams will follow about 25 minutes after this one. There's a second free throw up and good as well. Also, in between, we'll have senior recognition for both the women's and men's basketball teams for Aldous and Broadus. As several great players and even better young ladies and men will be recognized for their efforts here at the university. Far side three. Give it to her. That's going to be Jeffries with a trifecta. Yeah, nice job getting uh, wide open on that shot. Law pass inside. Walton has it. Under control. Power moving the paint, and it's good. I think right now we need to forget about the score and just work on things that can build us into our next game. Find the set, getting there, see what works, what doesn't work. Switch back. Okay. Galea tries the three on the far side. It's going to go over top, hit the adjustment on top of the basket, and the ball back to the Panthers. You know, Coach Bog has told me as we talked, and he's always so gracious. He and Coach die both. Very gracious for their time, and I greatly appreciate that. He told me that, you know, they're just trying to build, trying to get better and improve. They've been decimated. With a loss of several key players, that ball kicked. It stays with Kentucky Wesleyan. So he's doing everything he can to continue to develop his players. And what a great job he does at that. He's got some really good players. And he's going to say goodbye to three exceptional young ladies as we'll see the uh, end of the career coming here for Simone Smith, Danielle Franklin, and Tashara Jeffers. Ball stolen away by Smith. As a matter of fact, she's one of the G-Max leaders in thefts this year. Gets another one. She'll flip it ahead. It'll be Jeffries for three. She can't convert. And the ball free, taken away by the Panthers. Donaldson gets knocked on the court right there in that, on the back door. In the paint, Boyle, a high floater, finds the bottom of the net. With 132 left, the Battlers looking to finish strong. It's Galea looking for a screen, gets it from Weatherspoon. Dribbles off of it and then goes far side to Jeffries. They need to take advantage of the mismatch underneath, get Witherspoon inside. Jeffries, jump stop shot, no good. Rebound tipped, tipped again, and taken away on the baseline by Boyle. She's double teamed, works head to puck it. She'll work to Richardson in the corner near side. Spot up three, Emma, and the shot is up, and the shot is good. Emma Johnson with a trifecta, seven points in the game. Timeout, Coach Bogus. They'll make some adjustments. Celeste Walters checking back in. Timeout on the floor. Let's take one with him. A.B. Hoops on the great Midwest Digital Network.
in Salem. Just under one minute left in his fourth quarter of play. 89-52, the advantage for Kentucky Wesleyan. The battle's with a round ball. Galea surveying the defense. It's a man-to-man. She'll penetrate in. Feeds it off to Walters. She'll power it up and in. Very nice job penetrating to the basket like that. And then as she had Walters step back towards the uh, towards the foul line, it freed up the lane a little bit better for her to pass it into her. She got the up and in. 44 on the clock and turning. Coach Bogus told us he loves the toughness of Galea. She's a competitor, and that's part of the reason why she's a team captain. She's got that. She's got the looks of Florido a little bit as far as her ability to play up there. She stepped to the challenge with her players being hurt. Boyle inside. Works it off now to Barga. Shot off the mark and the rebound to Simone Smith. Galea has got it across midcourt. 16 on the clock, Doug. The batter's in a hurry. Jeffries loading up a three, partially blocked. Comes free. Barga's got it. She's going to hold it. Five seconds on the clock. And the final will be 89-54. Kentucky Wesleyan wins it. We've got a break to take back with final stats as you watch A.B. Hoops on the great Midwest Digital Network. 